Hey scientists, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about mutations. You have access to the mutation slideshow and your mutation notes in Schoology. For the mutations notes, you will need access to a codon chart. I have provided you here with a small codon chart, but I'm also going to access my own codon chart with the, uh, the box on the front and then the wheel on the other side. Okay, so now that I have what I need, let's go ahead and talk about mutations. What is a mutation? A mutation is any change in the genetic material. Oops, if I could spell. <laughs> Hopefully you don't run out of room like I did. Any change in genetic material, literally any. If I am adding additional information to your DNA, taking away information, or making a substitution, that means exchanging, let's say, a codon for another. That is a change in your genetic information that is known as a mutation. What amino acid does the codon GCA code for? If I'm using this chart, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit more. I'm looking for GCA. So I'm going to use my first letter, go down to G. Go over to C, letter A here is for alanine. Alanine, alanine, I don't care how you say it, I just care that you know how to find it. Okay, so I had used G, gone over to the C box, and then narrowed it down with the A here on the uh, right-hand side. So I'm gonna write that in, alanine, alanine, whatever. Um, is going to be our amino acid. What about CGU? Use first letter C, go over to the G box, finalize my selection by going to U. It is arginine. A-R-G-I-N-I-N-E. What is the definition of a mutation? It's changes, I said, in your genetic material. Mutations are not always a bad or harmful thing. For example, blue eyes are a mutation. They are not, if you are an individual that has blue eyes, that's not going to shorten your life expectancy or lifespan. It's not going to put you in any type of situation or great danger of not surviving. It's simply a mutation. It is not bad or harmful. Okay, so I think that there is a lot of stigma behind the word mutation that it automatically has to be something bad or lead to like superpowers. The reality of it all is that there are lots of mutations such as blue eyes that you may have and you might not even know because again, they're not exactly bad or harmful. But with that being said, are there? Do, do bad or harmful mutations exist? Yes, they do. There are two types of gene mutations. I'm going to change color here. Our two types are point mutation and what are known as frame shift mutations. There is only one type of point mutation and that is known as substitution. Think of it as a substitute teacher. A substitute teacher means to put in place of, right? If your teacher is absent, you have somebody in their place. So I can substitute one or a couple, if I can, right? One max three of your, um, of your letters in a codon. Frame shift, however, is different. I'm gonna put a star here because out of these two types of mutations, frame shift is the one that causes the most changes. I can insert a letter or I can delete 
a letter or base pair. Point mutation is what we're going to explore first. So a point mutation, a point mutation is going to be, uh, for example, substitution, we said, involves changing, okay, or it says changes involving, you can do one, max, three nucleotides. Okay, so you can have one letter replaced by another. Okay, so by another base, base pair. So one base, that's going to be your letter, is replaced by another base pair. It's going to only affect one amino acid in the sequence. So let's take a look at this example. My original DNA codon is GCA. Your mutated codon reads GTA. Oh, so this is where my change has occurred. I have now substituted a T for a C. So when I transcribe it into RNA, my original strand or sequence for my codon reads C, G, U. Now with the substitution, it reads C, A, U. Does this have an effect on my amino acid? Let's see, C, G, U should code for arginine. C, G, U, arginine. Instead of C, G, U, now I have C, A, U. C, A, U, histidine. Yes, this is a problem. This is now different. I have now changed my amino acid, which could consequently change the, the uh, whole protein that I am creating. Frame shift mutation, as I had mentioned, is the one that causes the most issues. It's going to be a shift in the, in the reading frame. of your genetic message. So what happens is I am changing my codon. I'm changing the way that I read my sequence. Ultimately changing your amino acids. There are two types, insertion, which means to add, base pair, deletion, to take away. So for example, here in my RNA, my sequence reads A, U, G, C, G, U, A, C, C, U, U, A. My coded amino acid sequence should be methionine, arginine, threonine, and leucine. Shorthanded as MET, ARG, THR, and LEU. Instead of AUG, I have now inserted adenine. Because I have added, I've shifted everybody over. Look, now I have one left out. We only read in three codons at a time, so you cannot do anything with this one. Now my first codon is AUA. Instead of coding for methionine, AUA now codes for isoleucine. 
instead of arginine, now I have a totally different amino acid. Same thing with my threonine, same thing. Oh, leucine actually is the only one that stays the same. But I have effectively changed three out of the four amino acids. This is a problem because now I can effectively change my entire protein. Insertion says, I am going to insert, all right, I'm going to now insert one of my base pairs. Here I'm adding an adenine into my genetic sequence. Okay, so I'm adding an extra base or another base into my genetic sequence. Now I am going to change the entire message. I am now changing my entire sequence. So I am going to effectively no longer be able to make the same protein. This is an issue. If you're not following this, if you're not still seeing the severity of how your message, what you're trying to make, trying to express is lost, let's use an actual sentence. The example is she hit the red car. We are going to insert a Y after the capital S. So I am now going to have S, Y, H, E, H, I, because we read three at a time. T, T, H, E, R, E, D, C, A, R. She hit the red car. Is this the same message? No, it's not. I cannot understand that at all. This definitely does not give me the same information as she hit the red car. I do not understand this. Okay, so again, frame shift mutations are gonna be the most serious. Let's go ahead and turn our paper over so that we can see deletion. I'm gonna change my color. How about green? I'm wearing green today. Deletion means I am going to remove a base from the genetic sequence. Again, you're going to change your reading frame and it's going to change your message completely. Okay, message and the reading frame. It is no longer the same sequence. So it again, it is no longer making the same protein. So let's see, here's our original RNA strand. U, excuse me, I can read. A, U, G, C, G, U, A, C, C, U, U, A, which originally codes for MET, ARG, THR, LEU, right? That's methionine, arginine, threonine, and leucine. My mutated RNA strand. Oh, look, the A is gone. The A has now been removed. So now everything gets moved over to the left. So my reading frame has been shifted to the left. I read in threes. So now my new codon reads UGC, and then I have CUA, CCU, UA. That's it. So you read in three, so we cannot code with you just UA. So look, all three of these amino acids have been changed and I'm missing one. That's a problem. Let's try it with the she hit the red car sentence. Now it says I'm gonna delete the first H. So this one is gone. Because it's gone, we have to shift everything down. 
because you read in threes. S E H I T T H E R E D C A R. Does this say she hit the red car? No, it does not. So again, my message has changed. I'm not delivering the, the information that I need. My message is now lost in translation. 